I'm Bianca. And I'm Byron. Welcome to the Self Made Book Channel. And podcast. Byron, what are we talking about today? Okay, today, is, we want one of the topics is designer clothes, but not just designer clothes. I want to know why designers make such ugly clothes. And I want to know what you guys think about this as well, because we just came back from a trip um, from Dubai and everyone's wearing designers, of course. Mm -hmm. You know, like when you're traveling, perhaps if you're in, in Central, you might see, you see these things more in a cluster, right? But more in, in particular, when we're abroad, everyone, of course, a bit more disposable income, given the nature of the places we were staying, and everyone's just dripping in designer, right? Not everyone. No. But a majority of people, yeah, you're right. Vast majority of people. And, and not just any designer, like billboard. Billboard. And the thing is, most of them were so ugly. So ugly. So I'm, I want to just put that out there as a question. Like, first of all, well, my question, first of all, to you is, do you feel they're trying to make these clothes as ugly as possible on purpose? I, I, I genuinely now feel like some designers are just laughing at us. Like, oh, these people buy anything. As like, long as it's... Like, when we went to the Gucci store in, um, in the Dubai Mall and they had that bag and trainers that all said fake on one side and then not on the other side. And yeah, before we saw that, we just it just looked like it just said fake. If I'd seen that outside of the context of being in the Gucci store... You think it's fake? I would have thought it was fake. And I would have thought, why is that person carrying a Gucci bag that says fake on it? Doesn't make any <laughs> logical sense. But and, I guess if you see the outside, well, it's not fake, if but it's you still see, If you see some stuff in... Um, if you didn't see it in the Gucci store or yeah. the Louis store, you'll think it's fake. Absolutely. And and to be honest, I've probably seen people out before and thought, that's, that's dodgy. fake. They've never made that in their life. They would life. never make that. That's disgraceful. What is that rubbish? And actually, it probably isn't. Now I, now I cannot categorically... You know, I'm not... I don't know enough about designers to be like, that's a fake, that's a not, because... Mm. Because they make such rubbish at times. It's incredible. But people buy it. So there's obviously something mm. about it. Is it just so you can prove... Is it I've got so much. Is it an illustration of you saying, I have so much disposable income that I can spend stupid money on tat just to prove that I just, I've got money like that? But then, then on the flip side, it's once you have a certain amount of disposable income, you know, regular passive income. Yeah. You know, if you're making... Let's say you're making a hundred grand a month. Yeah. What else you got? And spend you, it, you haven't got a mortgage. You, you know, you, you don't go to certain shops stores. anymore. Mm -hmm. You go to Louis, and then your mind almost gets corrupted. That this actually looks, and it doesn't. It looks so trashy. So do, what you're saying is, you think the people go into store and they actually think it looks nice. I don't know. Or are they just getting the most offensive? Like you know how when someone buys, for example. <laughs> You before said you want to get like a boogie green, like Lamborghini, right? Yeah. And, or, you know, an offensive colour that you're just buying it because just to be like, oh, I've got so much <laughs> money, I've just bought this ugly coloured car because I yeah. can. Yeah, yeah. Is it that? Is it people going out to buy the most offensive billboard designer just to, just to say, I can? I honestly don't know. And I, I'm going to put this to the, to the people. Do you buy these designers because he looks good? Is it a status? Is it a status piece? Is it peer pressure? I don't know. And I wonder if on the secondary but, market. But just to add, yeah. A lot of people that I know with real wealth, yes, real money, yeah, they don't have designers. No. Or they have key pieces, like a key watch, a key handbag. Yeah. Like they have, or, or multiple watches, but just you know, the yeah, watch, they have a investable watch. pieces, yeah, yeah. not throw away. But then we get you get sucked in because I was looking at the, the, the man bags, yes, we were. and then it was like before I was never, I was like, never wear, I'm gonna use a man bag, but mine was based on a, a need of when you're traveling, mm. when you're traveling, you have your passport, so it made a bit more logistical sense. But when you're looking at somebody's man bags, you're like. That's two grand. That's mm. sixteen hundred pound. Mm. It's not even real leather. It's not even leather. Can I afford it? Yes. Would I miss it? No. But the fact is, like, it's not even leather. It's not even leather. Are they taking absolute liberties? Yeah. Yeah. 
But mm -hmm. again, so on the secondary market, and you know what? I don't think people who are buying these offensively out ostentatious I don't even know if that's the word <laughs> if people yeah. are buying these like over the top designer things yeah. I don't know if they even think about resale but is I wonder if and maybe someone can let us know in the comments does it have a better resale value when it is those those really over the top pieces because I think well, and not knowing what I know probably. that the classic mm. the classic things have better longevity and and more um, investment is more. You're talking about handbags, particularly. You are. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. But then you know, I, I bet clothes doesn't have that. You know. But always, I feel like there's always and there's, key pieces. That and then sometimes there's some of these tracksuits, these Louis tracksuits, yeah, Gucci right. tracksuits, and they're so. Some of them are like, oh, they're not reselling. You're, right. you're not reselling that. Yeah, yeah. But also, how often can you wear some of these items? It's because it's so in your face. It's like you're wearing the same one again. Oh, you're wearing that Louis again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you got to have different colours. This is sufficient. I, I feel like I want to be like um, uh, Mark Zuckerberg. I just want to wear the same t-shirt, the same like colour t-shirt and the that. same trousers. Same jeans, same every day, So that no one can say to me, you're actually wearing minutes. the same mm -hmm. thing again. Yes, I am. Yep. Same three minutes of thinking. Yeah, not thinking about it. I just The only thing I change is my, like my watch, my handbag. Of course. Well, no, I don't know. But, some, but some burpees, you have to yeah. really think about it because... <laughs> because... Um, <laughs> Because it is like it that's is another such a that's waste. another video that is. No, I won't talk about that. I wonder though. You know, I saw one of our friends was talking about finance the other day and was saying that people can have, you know, ten thousand pounds worth of designer goods in their home, but not own a home, and have not thought about saving that money to to put down a deposit or something. Yeah. And it's so interesting. I wonder how many people sacrifice bet, yeah. their long term I investment. Some people have. I see some people online. I'm not throwing any shots at anybody in particular. You know me, I would. But they are dripping in designer. I'm like, whoa, okay. But, yeah. Or, on the side, I get a DM and saying, you know, they need to, they, they, they want to come to, when am I doing the next workshop for, to improve credit their files. credit file, mm. this, that and the other. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, but then it's a case of priority. So here's the question. Do you actually like the designer goods that you're buying? Or are yeah. you buying it to save face, to show off, to, to show the world that you, you can? So you can be flexing by the pool. In, you, know, <laughs> you know, Versace, Versace trunks. Trunks. <laughs> they were They were the least offensive. No, no, they were. They were the least I offensive. I might buy a pair of those. I know, I know. They, they were the least offensive. Off. They're just black trunks with, uh, with the band. Versace band. With the band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were, but there were some other ones that were like, polka dog yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god it's crazy and, and can you keep re-wearing it or do people feel like they need to wear it once I'm the trunks you can keep re-wearing no, but some people don't feel like they feel they can keep wearing the same thing time and time again but some of those over the top track suits you can only wear once like every now and then surely not what are they doing with them afterwards I don't know I'm so cautious. Yeah, I'm so, I'm just, so I'm like, wasted on this designer goods team. world. Every now and then, one or two little bits and pieces. Yeah. You know. It's sad because I feel like sometimes I really want to get into it. I'm like, oh yeah. Like, you know, I can but afford to. So, so let me go. Let me buy something. And then I go and I'm like, what? What is that? And why is that £2,000? Or why is that? Like, how does that make sense? And what else could I do with that money? What could I invest in? What could I buy? What can I put in my business? What Whose business could I put money into? Like, it just doesn't. Add up to me, but then... Or just not do anything. Yeah, but then I'll never do anything then, would you? I know, but it's like... I don't know. Just so, look at it in my So the account. question to you guys is, are these designer brands making some really ugly pieces or are we just out of touch with the world? Yes. And maybe we need to throw a couple of images in, seeing if these are good, you know? Yes. Maybe we'll find some, some offensive pieces. Yes, let's put them in. Um, and then... Do you own designer goods? If so, do you have any that you look at and be like, why the hell did I buy that? Is it ugly or is it change of time and fashion? We're just trying to understand. Mm. But we think they are making some ugly stuff. There are some good stuff. Yes. But most of what we saw was offensive. What we saw by the pool. Yeah. Anyway, guys, that's it from us today. Please like, comment, subscribe. We want to know what you guys think. Please share this video. Um, we're getting back to our regular routine again of Fridays. We missed out on maybe like one or two. Mm. One. 
Um, but we're back again. So please like, comment, subscribe. And if you like the content, share. Let us know that you like it. All right. So I'm Byron. <laughs> you sound like you weren't sure. And I'm Bianca. And self-made. It's success. Until next time. Bye. Bye.